Well, it has probably the most famous theme tune of any television programme. Its presenters, David Coleman, Jimmy Hill, Des Lynham, became household names. The voices of its commentators, a feature of Saturday evenings at home. Today, match of the day turned 50. Natalie Perks looks back at half a century of a programme that became an institution. The tune and the titles have been tweaked over the years, but the chills remain. For football lovers, this melody has been a staple of Saturday nights. You know, it was one of the things that I was always allowed to actually do by my parents. You know, they always let me watch Match of the Day. The format has always been simple. The day's top matches cut down into highlights with chat in between. If it ain't broke... You can watch all the live football in the world. Uh, but to get that fix in an hour and a half of everything that pretty much happens on, on that day, uh, it really does work. Welcome to Match of the Day, the first of a weekly series coming to you every Saturday on BBC Two. Match of the Day began life as a pre-recorded show in 1964. The first goal broadcast was Roger Hunt for Liverpool against Arsenal on Kenneth Wollstoneholm's watch. Good evening. Since then, a raft of famous presenters have brought their own special charm to the show. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> and then there are the commentators. One of the most famous voices returns for a one-off commentary tomorrow, ten years after his retirement. In this digital age, fans can now watch goals almost instantly, anywhere, anyhow. But Barry Davis says the show remains appointment to view television. It is the, the comfort that, that people feel, that they know they've got the package. And it's true, they, they, they try not to know the result of other matches, and they go home and watch. There are other places they can watch. They know could get all the scores while they were in the ground, let alone when they leave the ground. So it's, it, it's a phenomenon. Fifty years may have passed, but it seems the same arguments rage. If anybody is still trying to tell you that football was far better 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago, just very politely say to them, not... But as long as the goals still give us goosebumps, Match of the Day will remain a broadcasting institution. And we'll see you next Saturday. Good night.